March 2013 is the day. The one of the coldest evening of the year. And one of my childhood friends, school friend, his father expired and he immediately gave me a call that he was in Delhi that you know I you need to immediately come to Delhi and this has happened. And the good old thing, friend and is a friend and I wanted to be with him in this dark hour. But the problem was I was checking up the flight tickets and there was no ticket available. Because I just had to travel in an emergency. The next flight because of fog was Perhaps next evening, trains in an emergency were not available. I decided to take the car. My mother stopped me four or five times. She said, Later, it's too foggy, you don't go and drive tonight, you go tomorrow, it will not make a difference. I said, It will make a lot of difference to my friend because, you know, to stand by friends, to stand by our colleagues is always a good thing to do in times of need. So I decided to take the car. It was approximately 5 p.m. The sky was clear, absolutely clear. And I started driving towards Delhi. And by the time it was 8.50 or 9, it was totally for me. I couldn't just, my vision couldn't go towards this. And I was reminiscing the words of my mom. That did I go tomorrow. I thought, now I'm into a fix. What I did, I parked my car to a left-hand side dhaka, which was still open. Had a glass of warm water and sat down quietly and thought over it. I sat by the water side and was gathering my thoughts and practicing silence. You know, a thought came to my mind, which was move on. Your friend is in need right now, and you don't need to look the whole way right to Delhi, just look at the next 200 meters and reach him. I thought, wow, I, if I can just manage the next 200 meters and next 200 meters, the next 200 meters will unfold. This means my car is driving in the fog. I move the next 200 meters. The blinkers and the fog lights will show me the next 200 meters and the next 200 meters. I couldn't believe this. By 4 a.m., I was quietly, safely in Kent. Very safely. Well, I have noticed most of the children who came to me and said, the I don't talk to fog, I don't know, and they were from class 10, from class 6. So how will I get into IIT? How will I, if a class 12 student says so, it's okay. How will I get into Harvard? Class 10 student says so, okay. Class 6 parents, how will my child get into IIT? My message is clear and simple, always that I have been in my office, and today I pronounce right clear and loud. Take care of the now and the future shall take care of itself. Take care of the next 200 feet and the remaining distance will take care of itself. You are in class 9, perform brilliantly in class 9, you are in 10, you perform brilliantly in class 10. If you are in similarly level of class, you perform brilliantly there. Wherever you are, this moment, if you perform brilliantly, the next moment shall automatically take care of itself. You don't need to see what will you be at the day. You need to have a vision. I'm not saying I don't plan. Plan. Of course plan. But you don't need to be telling about it, what will happen on the next step, next step. Take care of this moment and the next moment shall take care of itself. I summarize my three lessons. Lesson number one. Whatever you give back is generously donated back to you. Give only that which you want to receive back. Lesson number two. The laws of the universe never fail. They always honor individuality. Don't follow copycat mentality. Follow your own unique path. And lesson number three. Live in the present moment while cautiously planning for the future. But your 80% or 70% focus should be the present, only 30% in the future. Finally, a saying that I've been saying time and again for my young children, and that is, I repeat it for the one final time. As kya hai? Syria Mubarak ho ne jine chhat tak jana hai. Syria Mubarak ho ne jine chhat tak jana hai. Asma ho manze lagar, to tumhe apna rasta. Good banana, good banana. Thank you. I'm glad to